Hi, Chag. Say hello to the world. To the world. I'm hungry. <laughs> Welcome to the Koi Pond Experience. In this video, I will discuss the basic difference between the salinity meter and the TDS meter. My intention is basically to help you in selecting and buying the proper equipment to supplement your fish keeping essentials. So let's get to it. As a koi keeper and fish keeper in general, our equipment of choice is the salinity meter, or what's commonly called the salt meter. By salinity, we mean the saltiness or the amount of salt dissolved in a body of water. To be specific, by salt here we mean sodium chloride. And the device we use for checking the amount of salt dissolved in a body of water is, as you've guessed it, the salinity meter. <laughs> On the other hand, is a device called the TDS meter. By TDS, we mean total dissolved solids. Common solid substances found in water could include sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, nitrates, chlorides, bicarbonates, and sulfates. Some small amounts of organic matter can also be found dissolved in water. And the device we use for checking the total dissolved solids found in water is the TDS meter. We can now safely assume that Water test readings from a TDS meter will almost always be higher than a salt meter. The reason is because the TDS meter considers numerous dissolved substances in the water, while on the other hand, a salinity meter will only consider the amount of salt dissolved in the water. So as a recap, here's the gist of it all for you fish keepers watching this video. The TDS meter is for measuring the total dissolved solids found in water. That's not what we need. Well, on the other hand, a salinity meter is for measuring the amount of salt dissolved in the water, which is exactly what we need. I hope that I made it understandable enough for all of you so that you won't make a mistake of purchasing a TDS meter like a few of my friends in the hobby. Well. Let's now do some real-world test readings so you can see actual results both from the salinity meter and the TDS meter. That's it for now guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.